Yes. Today we are going to solve a question from CSNet 2020. And this is basically from atomic physics, question number 66, part C. The question is mentioned that you have a total angular momentum quantum number F equals to sum of orbital quantum number, then spin quantum number, and then nuclear spin I. And interaction Hamiltonian for hydrogen atom. Hamiltonian for hydrogen atom is the interaction Hamiltonian that is given. Lambda into I plus L I dot L plus S. Where lambda is constant having positive value. Right? This is mentioned. So you have to find you have to find the value of F for P orbital, P orbital of hydrogen atom, which give, which give lowest energy. So from this given interaction Hamiltonian, it's clearly noticeable, this Hamiltonian is known as hyperfine structure Hamiltonian. Why? Because that L dot S is nothing but J, right? So lambda into I, into J. So interaction between nuclear spin with J is known as hyperfine splitting. So the hyperfine Hamiltonian HFS can be written as lambda into I into J. This can further be written as uh, lambda by 2, then you have a F square minus I square minus J square. So this is the Hamiltonian. You can write I dot J similar to L dot uh, L dot S. Okay, so you can write this. Uh, in fact, the energy you can write E H F S. That will be psi H H F S psi. So it means you have to calculate. Uh, take that expected value of F square, I square, and J square. And you know, if you take that values, we'll have lambda H cross H square by two. Because expectation value of x square is nothing but f into a plus 1 h cross square. For i square, it will be i into i plus 1 h cross square. And for j square, it will be j into j plus 1. So it will be like that. Then we'll have f into f plus 1 minus i into i plus 1 minus j into j plus 1. Okay. And we already have taken h cross square common. So there's the energy or hyperfine structure energy. So the lowest energy will be possible. As you know, the total energy of electron will contain Bohr energy E0, then spin orbit energy ESO, and then you'll have EHFS. So the EHFS, the lowest, lowest EHFS, this hyperfine structure energy will give you the lowest, lowest energy of orbital. And you can see that EHFS is a function of F, I, and J. It's a function of, you can see, it's a function of F, I, and J. Okay. So as it is mentioned that you have a hydrogen atom. You have a hydrogen atom. So you have an unpaired proton. If you fill in cell, so it will be on S half on. It means the nuclear spin of hydrogen atom will be half. And for P orbital, for p orbital l uh, for p orbital l is how much it's on right and have a hydrogen atom in which on electron is staying so spin is how much half so as you know j is nothing but mod of l plus s to mod of l minus s which implies j can take value 3 by 2 or 1 by 2 on the other hand you have a i that is a half so now if you take uh, j equals to 3 by 2 and i equals to half you can find f that will be mod of i plus j to mod of i minus j. So if you take this combination 3 by 2 and 1 by 2, this combination will provide you f value that will be 2 and 1. Okay. When you are taking 3 and half. And similarly, if you take other combination that j is half and i is half, which will provide you f that will be either 1 or 0. So this is the possible values of f i and j. Now I'll take different combination and I'll find that EHFS and we'll see which one will give the lowest energy. So first of all, I'll calculate that EHFS uh, for F equals to 
for f equals to two f equals to two i equals to f equals to two corresponding i kitna hai half hai and i can take j equals to three by two so if you take this you'll have lambda h plus h square by two and then you'll have f into f plus one that will be six right minus i into i plus on that will be minus three by four and j into j plus one that will be 15 by 4. So if you calculate this number, you'll have 3 by 4 lambda h cross 6 square. So this combination is providing you this EHFS. And if you take other combination, there is uh, f equals to on, i equals to f equals to on corresponding upper capacity will have i equals to half and j equals to half. Or sorry, j equals to 3 by 2 possible, right? If we take f equals to 1, that is arising from i equals to half and j equals to 3 by 2. j equals to 3 by 2. So if you take this combination, what will happen? We'll have that EHFS. Uh, uh, yes. If you calculate this by taking this combination, what will happen? We'll have lambda h cross h square by 2 and f is how much? On it means f into a plus on that will be 2, then i into i plus on that will be minus 3 by 4, and j into j plus on that will be minus 15 by 4. Okay, and this will provide you the value of this EHFS for this combination that will be minus minus 5 by 4 lambda h cross h square. Okay, similarly, other combinations are possible. Uh, like uh, for example, you have a EHFS for f equals to zero that is arising when i equals to half and j equals to half. Now, if you take this combination and calculate this value, you will have lambda h cross h square by two, and then we'll have f is zero. Obviously, f into a plus one that will be zero, and then you have a three by four minus minus three by four, and that will provide you minus three by four lambda h cross h square. Okay, so the another possible energy and last combination is EHFS for F equals to on and we are getting this when I equals to half and J equals to a half. Okay, so if you calculate it, you will have lambda H plus H square by 2 and then F into a plus 1 that will be minus, uh, that will be 2 then minus 3 by 4, minus 3 by 4. And that will provide you lambda h cross h square by 4. Okay, so you can, from this combination, you can see that minimum energy or lowest energy arising, and that is uh, minus 5 by 4 lambda h cross h square. And that is possible when f equals to 1, i equals to half, and j equals to 3 by 2. So obviously, the value of f for which you are getting lowest energy, that will be f equals to 1. So correct option will be our correct answer will be f equals to on will give you the lowest energy of p orbital for hydrogen atom okay for such cases thank you very much